Welcome back, everyone. Georgia O'Keeffe is one of the most beloved and renowned artists of the modernist movement. She also has important ties right here to the High Plains. Fox 14's Kaylee Green was able to sit down with art experts to learn about O'Keeffe's legacy and the impact of her brief time here as we celebrate remarkable women. If you really want to understand modern art, then you really have to understand George O'Keefe. Bill Mercer, the curator of art at the Panhandle Plains Historical Museum at West Texas A&M University, says Georgia O'Keeffe was a pioneer in the art world. She's often called the first mother of modernism, um, you know, and her work is really seminal in terms of uh, the creation of the modern art movement. The museum is home to one of O'Keeffe's great works, Red Landscape, which she painted in Palo Duro Canyon. Mercer says her experiences here informed her later works. She really was there at the forefront at the very beginning in terms of creating abstraction, uh, using objects, landscapes, and creating these wonderful abstract paintings out of them that really shift the paradigm in terms of the art world from being purely representational to uh, then talking about emotion and feeling in art. But before O'Keeffe was a famous artist, she taught at West Texas State University. She wasn't a studio artist successful yet, but she had been trained in the best teaching school in the nation, you know, Columbia University, and we got her here for a little bit. It's pretty cool. So I think that our claim to fame, claiming her is worth it, and then also she was incredibly inspired by this area. Amy Von Lintel, an associate professor of art history at WT, is somewhat of an expert on O'Keeffe's time here on the High Plains. She says O'Keeffe moved to Canyon on her own. While she was still here, she began sending paintings to her dealer in New York, who would later become her husband. She was one of the ones that he believed was the best, and she's a woman, a teacher, in the middle of nowhere in America, and yet she really set off. She was right there at the center. She wasn't on the periphery um, in the art world, even though she was totally on the periphery geographically. Von Lintel says O'Keefe had the gumption she needed to succeed. Actually, O'Keefe didn't want to be called a feminist. Like, she wasn't really interested in being called a woman artist. She wanted to be an art, art artist. She wanted to be taken seriously as an artist above being a woman. And she was taken seriously. Whether she wanted the title or not, O'Keeffe's work would eventually lead her to be the highest grossing American female artist ever. Her work sold for $40 million for one painting, which is higher than any other woman ever, but still, you know, 40% of what men are making. So, you know, it's still like a gender biased art world, but she's the leading, if you can see it in just financial terms, she's the leading American woman artist. In Canyon, Kaylee Green, Fox 14 News. Uh, Von Lintel says O'Keeffe's art lives on, especially in her classroom. Her students regularly use O'Keeffe's work as inspiration for their own. Von Lintel also published two books ab about O'Keeffe. One just got released. For more information on where you can buy the book, head over to the website. That is myhighplains.com.